Apple, Samsung, has just announced its latest flagship devices, and even longtime iPhone users have to admit there are a few features that look really impressive. Samsung's lineup now looks similar to Apple's latest offerings, with three mainstream devices consisting of the standard Galaxy S10, a larger S10 Plus model and a budget-oriented Galaxy S10e model that is clearly targeting the iPhone XR, complete with a $750 price tag. There was also the announcement for the $1980 Galaxy Fold. The S10 and S10 Plus come in at $100 less than Apple's competing devices, but pack in a lot of new tech. Dynamic AMOLED Screen We hope you're sitting down for this one, because it's going to come as a huge surprise, Samsung's new Dynamic AMOLED screens on its Galaxy S10 series phones are the best smartphone displays on the planet, shocking, right? The new screens on the Galaxy S10 series phones are remarkable, they're the first dynamic OLED screens in the industry and the first smartphone displays on the planet to get HDR10 Plus certification, they're just as clear and vivid as Samsung's earlier AMOLEDs, but the color reproduction has definitely been pushed to the next level. Hole Punch Cameras Is the trendy new hole punch camera design that's sweeping across the smartphone industry really any better than the traditional notch and teardrop notch designs we've seen on other phones? The answer is no if you ask us, but that doesn't change the fact that the hole punch design is exciting and new, and it's going to be a big draw for Samsung's Galaxy S10 e, Galaxy S10, and Galaxy S10 Plus. Different phones use different solutions in smartphone makers' efforts to push things closer and closer to the all-screen phone of everyone's dreams, cutting a hole out of the screen for the selfie camera or cameras is the latest trend that's in the process of replacing notches, and it's a pretty cool solution, phones can achieve much better screen-to-body ratios as a result of this nifty new design, the Galaxy S10 Plus, for example, features a screen-to-window ratio of 93.1%. In-Display Fingerprint Sensor Sticking with the display theme, the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus have another cool new feature that many people will see as providing two key benefits over Apple's current generation iPhones. First and foremost, the fact that they have fingerprint sensors at all is something you can't say about any of Apple's iPhones from 2018, for the time being. Apple has ditched fingerprint sensors and switched to Face ID, that could certainly change at some point in the future, but for the time being there are no new iPhones that have fingerprint scanners, some people agree that secure 3D face scans are better and more convenient than fingerprint readers, while others prefer fingerprint sensors. It's a matter of preference so there's no correct answer. Beyond simply having a fingerprint scanner, the Galaxy S10 and Galaxy S10 Plus have cool new in-display fingerprint sensors that don't take up any extra space on the front or back of the phone since they're embedded beneath the screen. All you need to do is touch the screen in a specific spot to unlock the phone, open a secure app, or authenticate a mobile payment. Up to 1.5 terabyte of storage. Limited storage space remains one of iPhone users' biggest qualms with their smartphones of choice, since upselling bigger storage tiers is how Apple maintains huge margins and steep average selling prices for its iPhone lineup, this definitely isn't going to change anytime soon. Samsung has a much more consumer-friendly approach, it offers the Galaxy S10 in several different storage tiers, including a massive 1TB tier on the Galaxy S10 Plus, on top of that, Every Galaxy S10 model from the S10e up to the S10 Plus also includes micro SDXC support, so you can add another 512GB of storage whenever you want. Up to 12GB of RAM. The actual benefit of cramming tons of RAM into a smartphone is widely debated and there are good arguments on both sides, there's no question that Android phones with more RAM are often faster and smoother than Android phones with less RAM, but iPhones only have 3 GB of RAM and yet they regularly obliterate the competition from Android in key benchmark tests and real-world performance tests, that may change this year once Samsung's new Galaxy S10 phones are released though, because the top-tier Galaxy S10 Plus packs a whopping 12 GB of RAM. 5G As was the case with the RAM item, the actual benefit from this feature is open to debate, whether or not it's really usable anytime soon though, 
The bottom line is that Apple doesn't make a 5G iPhone but Samsung will launch a version of the Galaxy S10 with 5G in the second quarter this year, 5G networks aren't widely available just yet, but if your carrier launches 5G in your area and you buy a Galaxy S10 5G after it's released in quarter 2, you'll enjoy blazing fast data speeds on a network that won't be seeing any congestion anytime soon, rumor has it that Apple doesn't plan to launch an iPhone model with 5G support until 2020 at the earliest, so this is going to be an advantage for Samsung for quite some time. Please help me by sharing this video and your click on the like button means a lot to me, and don't forget to subscribe on the channel and to click on the bell, to be notified with the latest uploaded video, thanks a lot for your time.